All right, so thought I would change it up, not do an intro on the menu, kind of do it here. So I figured out how to change characters, and I think it's time to finally switch it up. So, I've been playing as Batgirl for a very long time. And I'll tell you right now, I thought up to this point, it was kind of fitting because, I don't know. It just felt like an Arkham game, but I think it's time to kind of try out some of the new stuff. By the way, I was exploring around, and I saw this. I, I don't know what I did, but I was just kind of running around getting, like, XP in my spare time. And something popped up for Clayface. Not like a cutscene. It's like I took down a certain enemy, and they turned into clay, essentially. So I have no idea what this is. So collect clay samples. These are, like, these extra storylines. So I'm guessing that's how you meet Clayface eventually. But, all right. I went ahead and swapped over once to Red Hood. Okay, here's what I want to show you. See Power 159? Look what I'm at with her. I'm at... Well, I'm at 259. I didn't realize I was that high. Might be kind of a... I guess a lower point, but we'll try it out. I still can't get over the fact that he looks like Biff from uh, Back to the Future. <laughs> I have to admit, I never expected stockbrokers to make friends with the freaks. It's weird, even for Gotham. Most of them only have parking tickets on the records. First what time is this? for everything, I suppose. Hold on, Alfred's just, okay, he's just chilling right here. Let me talk to him first. Sketchy pills and sketchy doctors. My favorite. Did it lead anywhere? The website for the mysterious Dr. Q seems to have vanished, but we'll keep looking. I think it's safe to assume Harley's up to something. But what? Is that not always the question with Dr. Quinzel? Yeah. Thanks, Alfred. Let me know if you find anything. Of course. Let's interact with this thing, too, whatever this is. <laughs> what? I was just thinking of that time we all made dinner together, and Tim got tomato sauce all over Bruce and Bats. <laughs> I don't remember that. What? No, you have to. It was the same year. You know what? Never mind. Dumb story anyway. Well, I could tell you a story. It's about being dead, then brought back to life by a pit of mind-altering goo. Hey. I didn't mean that. I don't know what's worse. Having a chunk of my life taken away from me, or coming back to everyone thinking I'm gonna snap. I'm sorry, Jason. We shouldn't have... I shouldn't have treated you like an outsider. My god, you're such a boy scout. No wonder you were the first. <laughs> I like how he is aggressively chopping carrots. <laughs> Alright, so here's one cool thing about this. We got a brand new email, let me... Well, I like how it gives me like a split second. Alright, let me look at the gear really quick. Here's what I'm rocking. 159 power. I wonder if I can increase that. My range is terrible. What in the world? Let me craft. Hold on. Let me see if I can craft something really quick. Uh, can't make anything there. I don't think it's going to change the game. Here's what I will say. Your overall level is the same, right? So, I've already swapped over him one time. Look at all the different outfits. This is the current suit I'm actually rocking, which I kind of like this one. Looks like Jason Voorhees a little bit. This is like the, uh, like the main one. We got Titan, Eternal. That one looks kind of clean, too. Year one. Nice. Demon. Privateer. Metal. That, you know what this looks like? Oh, what was his name for Metal Gear Solid? Gray Fox? I don't even remember the guy's name. It's been so long. Beyond. That looks clean. Night Ops. Shinobi. Nightwatch. Talon. Okay. And then, of course, this one always looks clean with every character. All right, so what I wound up doing is the mods are the same, crafting's the same, but I have to actually get stuff to craft. I could, 
Yeah, this is the highest stuff I potentially have right now. I don't have anything else. Crafting-wise, I can't make anything. There's just nothing available. So, that's all I have for now. And I went ahead and... You, here's, like, the abilities I chose. I chose this one. I got pretty much all of these to kind of get crit hit chance, crit hit damage up. Got to be using a lot of guns, which is kind of cool. Momentum abilities. We also got a couple of these. We pretty much trying out everything. This is my first full time playing as him. I haven't ran around the city. I've only done like the combat training. So when we go back out there, the story remains the exact same. We're just going to be like a play style. It's just going to be a touch different. All right. Same game there. What do we got here? I'm assuming these are just built up because I progressed through the story and we'll see what happens. We're way overdue for a rematch, Mr. Todd. Whoa. You got the Horror Classics expansion pack. How could I turn down scares and beats? <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> New challenger. Next level, Pit of Despair. Get ready. Whoa. I'm assuming there's like copyrighted music here, otherwise it would be playing. It's okay to not be okay with that. Know what? I'm hungry. I'll get some takeout from Big Billy Burger. You want your usual? One bacon ultra belly combo coming up. I'll be right back. Hey. Thanks, Babs. These like little like interactions with different characters. We got the emails too. All right, let's go ahead and head out. One thing I wanted to say is, so we got the Masquerade 4.1. The only thing is suggested level. Now that's what I like about this. Your armor doesn't really seem to matter as much as your actual level. Uh, this is where the Clayface thing pops up. So, click, okay. Strange faceless criminals roaming in the streets of Gotham. Yeah, that just randomly popped up when I was fighting enemies. Here's what I was doing. I was going around the map, fighting enemies. That's all I did. It wasn't a cutscene either. All right, let's go try out Red Hood, see how it goes. I like that the character stuff, like, doesn't affect the story. You know what I mean? It's just like the gameplay. That's pretty much all it is. So I've had a lot of fun with this series. I haven't played in, like, a week since the last video, by the way. I took a long break, played a lot of other stuff, been taking it easy. Uh, almost got burned out for a minute. <laughs> Yo, he looks so sick. All right. Don't forget that you have a rendezvous with Mr. Hendrix. Copy that. It's like the same type of stuff. What I'm wondering though is, you know how like Batgirl had the one interaction about, you know, James Gordon's like the memorial and all that, that like the other character she was talking to. I wonder if that's pretty much not going to be there now. Like it'd be somebody else for him, right? I would imagine. All right, the watch. Here's what I was going to say. Somebody told me that a lot of this stuff, let me zoom out. The game is pretty much big on, like, the size stuff. Oh, I went and got all the fashionable points as well. So the Harley Quinn case file, I should have looked at that to 
continue her stuff. But while we're out, we're going to look at everything. We get the heist there. Secret identity compromised. I feel like I should just go do everything that pops up. What is this? I think this is it. Hold on, let me look at the actual case file. Meet Mark. Okay, Hendrix. That's definitely it. Yeah, so this is like the last known spot. I might, I'm going to go down here first. I do want to fast travel and see how it looks with him and like the flying thing. That's so sick. Man, surprisingly, this game is just a lot better than I expected. When I first started, like, the first two sponsored videos, I was like... That opening scene with Batman? Yeah, even the falling is the exact same. Okay. The traveling is about the same. So each character is going to have the exact same type of movement, it looks like. Combat's going to be the only difference. Yeah, I want to do a video with, like... Or I'll do a little bit. I'll play as Red Hood for a little while. And then I want to swatch to, uh, swatch. I want to switch to Nightwing, and then Robin, and then probably back to Batgirl before the end of the game. The area you're in is heavily secured. If you're spotted, you won't get a chance to upload the data. I'll be out of there before they have a chance to see me. So it's the same thing as... Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. I don't even know if I want to do this right now, but this would be a good chance to try some combat. Aerial attack. The only thing is... Yeah, I don't know if this is worth it right now. I gotta remain undetected, and I already know that right now, if I fight them, my cover is gonna be blown, and then I, I, I'm i not gonna be able to, like, take them out before, because there's no option for stealth attacks. So we have to avoid both of these guys. Let's see if we can go around. There's, like, an area over here. We got a vent. We'll try this, maybe. This looks promising. We'll see. Is there anybody in here? I'm up and down. Okay, my only worry is can I walk can I walk on this platform? I don't think I actually have the... Uh... Alright, I hope this doesn't break or anything. Oh, I knew it. Over, okay. They saw me. As long as you're safe, I had a feeling. Alright, let's just fight him. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> I might get. I might need to get out of here. These guys are heavily armored. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get killed right here. Let me just get out of this spot. Yeah, cause that there's no there's no point. Alright. Well now we know. We'll try it again later on. All this stuff is optional anyways. I want to go to the main spot. Which is... I mean, should I go back to the Belfry and get this Harley Quinn thing out of the way? We also have this thing. Might as well use these fast travel points while we can, right? I'm not gonna do... Like, if I do these, it's not gonna be too often, but... I'll just try it whenever I can, you know? I unlock these points to kind of help out with the speed of the game. <laughs> so I can have more stuff packed into each video. Yeah, let's go do this and then we'll go to the main spot. Some of these are just simply just going and talking to strangers. Not strangers, but characters in the game, you know? The one thing I do miss about Arkham Knight is the ability to like, <clears throat> like fly up and like get momentum and then, I don't know, it's just really awesome how they did it. Whoa, where'd you come from? Hey there. Can I get you a drink? Maybe later. I'm working. Fair enough. 
Nice to meet you, by the way. I'm David. Madam Palomara says you're the guy to talk to about shady stuff around these parts. Oh yeah, Gotham's gangs aren't exactly subtle, especially when they're sloshed. Either that or they think the wheelchair affects my hearing. People are assholes. I'm sorry you have to deal with that. Wouldn't be so bad if I could at least get the cops to take me seriously. They won't help you, but I will. What do you got? Have a good one. That's all it was, okay. Alright, so where we're going right now is gonna be right up here. For now, I'll fast travel a little bit. Some of these getting across bridges does take a long time, though. I felt like a lot of my first videos were mostly me getting to certain points, you know? Yeah, imagine if while you're falling, you could actually control it and, like, wingsuit around. That would be so sick. Guys, this is the actual story. <laughs> Finally back to that. It's like you go do a mission, then you go back to the Belfry, then you do the next mission, you go back to the Belfry, and there's, like, side stuff that pops up while you're on the map each night, which is cool. The one thing I've always wondered, though, since most of this game takes place at night, and all the Arkham games do as well, wouldn't it be most beneficial if you're a criminal to just do everything during the daytime? Because everybody's sleeping right there, you know? Shit. Oh, boy. Looks like the court got to Hendrix first. Multiple reports of suspicious activity. I bet that's Hendrix. We need officers near the Gotham Naval Research Facility. Hang on. Oh, they all can use this. Okay. I was just like, why don't I have the bat cycle? And then I realized, oh, it's still there on the D-pad. It's just tap up. And I was like, I didn't, I didn't think they all had the same thing. That's pretty cool, though. All right, it's time to go over here. Ooh, defend the doors. It's those mass creeps. I'm yes, going in. Quarter right miles, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Guess I really pissed them off. I like his character a lot. Uh oh. Oh, did you see the no look? That's so sick. What? Thought I got out of the way. These morons will never learn. So much damage. I love it. Okay. I didn't expect to be fighting these enemies with the other ones. You know? I gotta keep the door off. Hold on. Keep it defended. Uh oh, I got him shook up. You gotta be really close for this thing to hit. Watch this. That's the only way is just to hold down that. Got you. Gotta admit, Red Hood is nice. I'm a fan already. I had a feeling this day was coming. You wouldn't believe the things that I heard at the hotel. Yeah, the court seems to like their privacy. 
Shit, they're real? That explains the masks. Look, one of my guys was feeding them info. And you know what? You should probably have all the same intel, too. Hope you got a good therapist. And thanks for the drive. This city is going to the birds, I swear. Crime resolved, all right. Belfry, I took care of it. Hendrix handed me a data drive after I saved him. Excellent. Please return to the Belfry so we can evaluate next steps. All right, so before we go back, so that's all it is. That was like the entire mission. You have certain ones that are like that, and you have other ones that are like, uh... Us getting trapped down there with like the Court of Owls, which I did look up and see that that is actually in, uh, I guess... A faction in the DC universe that I didn't realize that it was like I never seen it before. Uh, reach the secret cache. Uh, let's see. I don't see anything else. We have this. Well, yeah, I don't see anything else really. North Gotham, time trial starting. I kind of wanted to stick to the critical path for a little bit. All right, let's go back. There was a lot of stuff going on that I wanted to check out. We didn't do a lot during night eight. Which I did skip a night or two because I was kind of farming XP, which didn't even help. I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. I've seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Ra's is... was a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago, to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed, so he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. And that is until he showed up and... Bruce. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the Court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And, without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court. And we keep the League away from Gotham. I really miss him. Excellent. The drive Mr. Hendricks provided us contains exactly what we need. 
All right, I've so a safe house for Mr. Hendricks. His original one was compromised, but he'll be all right now. Oh, stuff we got really quick. I'm just curious. The Harley Quinn stuff. We got the different leads there. Oh wait, this is for uh, the Clayface thing, which I definitely. Here's the thing. Even if I finish this game, I'm gonna kind of take my time with it for a bit because well, when I do finish it. I would like to at least play all the other case files if I have time. Because I know these are technically side things, but if we get to meet Clayface or at least fight him, that will be insane. Talk to Alfred. I do believe we have a guest. More like a pest. That damn thing never shuts up. It wouldn't be the first cat to find its way past the bat's walls. Got eyes on the little freeloader? Not yet, but I suspect if we start leaving food out for him, we may find ourselves with a new addition to the Bat family. I'll ask one of the others to swing by the pet store after their next patrol. A cat in the belfry. Guess it's not the worst thing. The Orchid Hotel. All right, so let me see if I can have any upgrades really quick. So I wouldn't mind seeing if I had more gear. These two have exclamation points, so there's obviously going to be something here. There we go. A little bit higher. Uh-oh. It changed up on us. Look at all that increase. Let's go, baby. Vigilante basic suit. Okay. What can I craft? Melee. I can craft anything, so that's good. The only thing is... Well, <laughs> the power is actually lower. I need something with range. I don't have anything I can craft with range. You just have to, like, wait... All these are down too, yeah. Mods, um... Let me... Why do I have this one equipped? Oh, that... Well... Let me unequip that and put this one on. Because I feel like... Let me double check the challenges. Yeah, it's just a lot of the same stuff. Okay. So we kind of have like a fill for how everything's supposed to work. What I want to see really quick... And fighting freaks? I will take that. 100%. Let's check out emails as well. Any of them have an exclamation point. Or maybe they all are good? These have attachments. So these be the ones at the very, very top. Sorry, there's no way to go faster. Wait a minute, what? Did I just get an email from Superman? Hold on, Clark Kent. I know we don't know each other that well, but I want to reach out. Bruce always said you kept your emotions close to your chest. When Bruce calls someone closed off, I know it's serious. I was thinking about that today and how it might have a lot of people that you're comfortable speaking with about. Oh, uh, offer you should find yourself and need someone to talk. I'll be happy to do so. It's never too late. Let's get to know each other. That is so cool. What in the world? Got an email from Superman. What in the world? I like how it just says C CK on it, you know? Everything else has a picture. Alright. Looks like we're good. We keep the train rolling, baby. Here we go. I cannot believe they did that. An email from Superman. All right, the Orchid Hotel, straight up that way. Oh yeah, this is about to be fun. Levels 12 through 15, I'm on level 10. Like, what do they expect you to do? I mean, maybe like, a lot of the stuff's just like passive. Like, you're just gonna, on oh, a passive, you're just gonna find it when you're just like having fun. I did do some of the basic training, like in my spare time. It's not much really, you get a little bit of XP from it, but not a lot, so. All right, let's see what's on the map first and then we'll kind of go to the hotel thing here in a minute. We have this, which I thought about trying, but we could try this again. I had a feeling step on the floor was going to alert, but I wanted to test it out. Criminal hiding, reach the hideout. I mean, I should try this stuff, right? Oh, wait. Let's go here. So what we can do, I'm just going to kind of want to just like roam around and get there with like fa fast traveling and then Getting into action. I want to actually like, enjoy the area. I think Red Hood is a good character, though. 
We should get up here. Can I summon? I don't think you can up here. Oh, it puts it down here. Never mind. <laughs> this is so cool. But being able to switch in and switch out of characters and then have pretty much everything be the exact same. The Batmobile. The, oh, not the Batmobile. The uh, the Bat Cycle. You can shoot out of it, I think, with him. Anything to get us XP at this point. The volume on the bat cycle is actually really loud compared to everything else in the game. So when I'm editing, I see the decibels and I'm like, ah, maybe I shouldn't take this that often. I don't know. Next time I'll just fast travel, but I want to get a little bit of like driving around. We'll do this and we'll go to the critical path. Hey, Belfry, I'm at the Orchard Hotel. The balcony door should be open. That's your entry point. A penthouse with a balcony? You spoil me, Belfry. Hands off the minibar. Our days of unlimited budgets are behind us. So the fact that I was already at it is kind of cool. Oh, we're going up. Whoa. You skip. Hey, I'm Red Hood. Hi there. I'm Toshio. Or Mr. Mishima to my students. You a teacher? Yeah, high school. By day, anyway. I work security here some nights, too. Plus the watch. Bet you could use a vacation. Bet you could, too. I took this job for some extra cash to help out my students, buy school supplies for kids who need them and such. I just want my kids to have a safe place to learn and grow up. I can help with that. Fill me in. Till next time. <laughs> 